Heidi arrived in Frankfurt to live at the Sessamans' house with Dete. When do I get to meet Clara? She met Miss Rottenmeier, the stern governess of the house, who had to test her before she could meet Clara. Good heavens! What happened here? It was an accident. Heidi found it difficult to adjust. It's all right, Heidi. But when she met Clara... Are you Dete's niece? They formed an immediate friendship, and Clara helped her win Miss Rottenmeier over. Enjoy Clara's music, Adelaide. I do. I could even hear the goat sing with her. <laughs> Adelaide! One covers their mouth when yawning. You are not in the mountains with your goats anymore. Like this? Only when yawning, Adelaide. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Oh, Clara, I was dreaming about the mountains and the goats and... <laughs> <laughs> it's time for lunch. Come now. I was dreaming of Grandfather and Peter. I miss the mountains so much. Ah, oh, you should see them. If I could only see them for a minute, that'd be great. Mm. Maybe you could see them from a very high point here. Like the attic? Mm, no, not high enough. Clara? <gasps> Adelaide? Miss, what is the highest point in the city? I'm glad you like our city, Heidi. Frankfurt has so much to offer. Where? Hmm. The highest point. The highest point. Oh, no doubt. It's the cathedral's bell tower. Can you see the mountains above Durfley from up there? The mountains? Um, I don't know. I don't think so, as Frankfurt is in a valley. But I'm not sure. Could we go there to see? Adelaide, Clara cannot climb up the bell tower. That's nonsense. Now, finish your meal. And no more talk. Hmm. It's time for your nap, Clara. Then we'll have some reading to do. Yes, miss. C can I take a nap too, miss? If that keeps you from dozing off during reading time this afternoon. Thank you, miss. What are you doing? A lady doesn't hold the door for a servant. But, miss, he, he's got his hands full. Oh. Well, hold the door for us now. <laughs> Adelaide? M miss? We'll read in the library in two hours. Don't be late. You need to get some rest now, Clara. Yes, miss. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
I hope I will be back soon or Grandmother's bread will be all stale. before reading time. You're so lucky. I wish I could come with you. Hmm. I'll tell you everything, and maybe one day we can ask Miss Rottermeyer to let us go there. <laughs> Sebastian could carry you all the way up the tower. Hmm? <laughs> it's for you. It's beautiful. I hope you see the real ones today. Thank you, Clara. <laughs> Heidi. Hmm? Be careful. And make sure you're back before three. I will. And I'll tell you all about the mountains. Take the second on your left, then on your right, and um, three more streets on your left. Thank you. <laughs> Change, miss? Huh? I can play for you if you have some spare change. Oh, what kind of instrument is that? I've never seen one before. <laughs> You've never seen a barrel organ before? Well, you should go out more often. It's like a piano, but you can carry it. Uh, that's very nice music. Uh, do, do you know where the cathedral bell tower is? Yes. You won't find anyone in all Frankfurt that knows the city better than I. Uh, so, which direction is it? Give me a coin and I'll take you there myself. I don't have any money. I'm sorry. Then you'll have to find your own way. I could sing while you play. I'm sure people will give you money for it. Hmm. Can you sing? Like a goldfinch. Hmm. Let's try then. My name's Rudy. Heidi. The cavern, the canyon, excavating for a mine. Total miner, for a miner, and his daughter Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. Thou art lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> Your niece is really adorable, and I think she's doing wonders with Clara. I just hope she'll adapt well, and that she'll start to behave. Watching her drive Miss Rottenmeyer crazy is quite enjoyable, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nap time is almost over. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If the dragon sleeps, I might just give the young ladies a few more minutes. Sebastian! You sing all right, you know. We could do that again. Here we are. <gasps> Great. Thank you, Rudy. Just be careful over there. The tower guard is a grumpy old man. I'm sure he'll be nice to me if I'm nice to him. <sighs> What do you want? I need to go to the top of the tower to see the mountain, sir. Uh, hey! What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Again? I'm sorry to disturb you, but I really need to see the mountains. It will only take a minute and I can go up there on my own. Don't ring that bell again or you'll really be in big trouble, young lady. <laughs> I think I can help you. Huh? That's one time too many. Uh, what? Where? Huh? Did you play with that bell? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> what? Hey! Stop there! <laughs> Oh, Heidi! <laughs> Come back here! Get down! It's dangerous up there! Get back here. This is no place for a child. It's dangerous. But I wanted to see the mountains. <laughs> there are no mountains around here. Where are your parents? I live with my grandfather, but he's not here. He stayed in the mountains. I came to Frankfurt with Aunt Dette. I left all my friends there. It's never easy to move away from your friends, is it? No, but I'll be back there soon. It's just I miss the mountains so much, I thought. <laughs> you know, when I moved here from Hamburg, I was just like you. I had to come up here to try and see the ocean. from here. <laughs> look, don't those roofs look like waves on the ocean? Are those towers like lighthouses? I think the roofs look more like hills and mountains and the towers. This one is the Chesaplana. <laughs> That's Peter's favourite. Peter's a goat general, just like me. And on this one lies Grandfather's cabin with Joseph sleeping right outside the door. And this one... <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's oh. so loud! <laughs> <gasps> oh, does it mean it's three already? <gasps> I need to get back or Miss Rottenmeyer will punish me. Where is Adelaide? She was very tired. I told Sebastian to let her sleep some more, miss. Adelaide must follow the rules of our house if she wants to stay. Sebastian, go and wake her up. Sebastian! Miss Clara? Can you get my shawl in my bedroom first, please? I feel a bit chilly. You'll bring her down with Heidi, Sebastian. Again, I'll have to get rid of them. Oh no, you can't 
do that. I don't like it either, but someone has to do it. The church can't be turned into Noah's Ark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. It tickles. <laughs> I could take them home. I'm sure Clara would love them too. Can I? I'm fine with it. But what about your auntie? Oh, I'm sure Aunt Detta and Sebastian will love them. Uh, take them. I'm sure your friend will love them too. And now go. Didn't you say you were late? Thank you. I'll come back to tell you how the kittens are going. <laughs> you do that, little one. <laughs> Heidi, so did he catch you? Yes, but he's a nice man. I'm late. I need to go back home now. Which way is it? That depends on where you live. I can take you back to the bakery, but that's all. If you need some more money, I'm sure Sebastian can give you some. Mr. Sesamon is a very rich man. Sesame? You live with the Sesamons. Then I can take you there. And not for money, Heidi. I don't charge friends. I hope you find your mountains, little one. Detta, have you seen Heidi? No. Why? Isn't she having a nap? She's not in her bedroom, and I couldn't find her anywhere. Are you sure? Have you checked the attic? And she's not in the courtyard? <gasps> Where could she be? Sebastian, is Adelaide awake? I yes, but she went out to run an errand. Yes, she's in the courtyard getting Clara Shaw. What is going on here? We... We can't find her, miss. <laughs> She's not in the cellar, either. Miss Clara, is something wrong? I... Mm, I know where Heidi is. Where? She went to the bell tower. <gasps> she wanted to see the mountains. Oh. She was supposed to be back before our reading time, and... Now I'm scared she got lost. Don't worry, Miss Clara. I'm going to find her. Sebastian! Heidi! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Hurry, Miss Rottenmeier is looking everywhere for you. <gasps> Go, I'll see you around. You only have to listen out for my organ to find me. Thank you, Rudy. Mm. <laughs> see you soon. Have you found her? I'm sure she's here, Miss. She must have fallen asleep somewhere. <gasps> This way. How could you lose her? You really have no idea where she could be. <gasps> what was that? It's a gift for Clara. Miss Rottenmeier has an aversion to cats. But I can't abandon them. Oh, give them to me. I'll hide them on the second floor. Miss Rottenmeier never goes up there. They'll be safe. Pretend you just woke up. And let me do the talking. <laughs> Miss, I, I found her. Oh. Oh. She fell asleep in the attic. I didn't think of going up there before. <laughs> She thought she could see the mountains from the skylight, and then she fell asleep. I'm sorry, miss. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. <sighs> well, from now on, make sure you take your nap in your bed, young lady. You got us all worried. Could we have tea while we're reading, miss? I am famished. Bring tea now, Detta. Clara's right. We should eat something to forget about this incident. <laughs> oh, I was so worried. Heidi could have gotten lost in the city. She misses the mountains so much already. What will she do when she realizes she's not going back there? You haven't told her? 
She thinks it's only for a few days. Detta, I think it's time to tell her the truth. Don't you? Heidi, oh, what a day! So, tell me everything. Could you see the mountains? No. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's all right. I'll be back there soon anyway. <laughs> Thank you for covering for me. That's what friends do. Hmm. Oh, I made another friend today. Rudy. He plays the barrel organ in the street. I'm sure you'd like him. <laughs> oh, and also... Oh, <laughs> how cute! There's one for you and one for me. <laughs> Which one do you want? This one. And I'll call him Socks. <laughs> and you will be Star. <laughs> <laughs>